Hi, so last video I showed you how to add login and logout features to your web application and included a, a quick and dirty way to verify if users are logged in in your controller methods. Today what I want to address is how to modify this technique to a more uh, cleaner way which resembles to ASP.NET action filters. So the goal will be to add annotations to a class. In PHP, we can't add annotations, so we are going to use what we call doc comments. Um, and so these doc comments will basically state if a certain filter should be applied to a class, to a method, etc. So let's get started with the doc comments. Doc comments are different from comments in that the delimiters are different. The opening delimiter is slash with two stars and the closing delimiter is a single star with a slash. Uh, what I want to use as my annotation inside, as my text inside, will be access filter and I want to use squiggly brackets in order to state what will be run, an access filter here. In this case will be login filter. Okay, so I could apply it to a class or to a method or both. So let's imagine that I have a login filter for the, uh, for the access filter and maybe I have here a, an admin filter for the index, okay, for example. So to get this implemented, uh, we are going, the perfect place to implement this is in the routing to implement the functionality required for this to run. And in the routing itself, if we look at the constructor, um, this should be done after we resolve the final call. So after resolving the method and the controller itself. So what we wanna have basically is a call here that will uh, get any redirect filter, get any URL to redirect to, and then perform this redirection as needed. So here, uh, the proper thing to do is to write, for instance, if self redirect filters with the this uh, controller and this method if this returns something which is non-false so let's call that for instance redirect url is equal to that then we want to use http headers so we're going to say header location colon slash or rather no slash and write in redirect URL, semicolon, return, to make sure that we don't run the actual function. Okay, we still don't have the redirect filters uh, method yet, but let's start Im implementing that immediately. So, redirect filter. private static function redirect filters and here we're going to use a class and a method the first thing we want to do is we want to use reflection class Reflection is going to be equal to new reflection class. And for that, we're going to pass the class in. It takes either an object or the name of the class as its parameter. So we basically are going to pass this controller, which was instantiated previously. Next, we're going to get the class and method doc comments. So for the class doc comments, I'll say class doc comment. 
uh, this is equal to reflection. Get doc comment. And for the method, doc comment, this is equal to reflection, get method, method, get doc comment. So this is what's getting me the contents of the doc comment written here in these special delimiters. Now I need to somehow parse and extract the filters, get the filters out of that comment. So I want to give a call to get filters from annotations. And this call is going to be self get filters from annotations. And I want this to be performed on the class doc comment and also on the method doc comment. So here I would get, for instance, the class filters being equal to whatever's going to be output from the class doc comment being parsed. And the method filters being the result of the method doc comments being parsed. Next, I want to assemble all filters. So to assemble all filters, what I want to do is array merge. And I want to merge the class filters with the method filters. But that's not all. To make sure that the data inside is correct, non-empty, I'll use array filter as well. And to make sure that any result which is removed by the array filter doesn't uh, hinder the operation later, I will use array values on top of that. So if I have any hold in my array as a result of filtering it, then array values will simply just renumber the whole array um, so that it, it works well. Now I want to get the final redirect URL from running another uh, operation which runs the filters. So self run filters on the filters array that we just got back and finally return redirect if any so this this might uh, return false I want to have run filters return false if the there's no redirect necessary so that's what redirect uh, filters should look like now I need to actually parse the annotation uh, out of the out of the doc comments so that's why i have the uh, private static function i'll use get filters from annotations So doc comment here, this is what I'm sending in. And what I want to do, I want to start by doing a uh, regular expression match. And the, the, the match is going to be uh, for a specific expression. Uh, I want it to be case insensitive, so I have uh, the I at the end. And what I'm matching starts with an ampersand and you know going back to my controller it looks like this. So 
access filter and then I have my actual contents here which I want to uh, name so I'll name those content and the actual content for this is going to be uh, dot plus here which means just at least one character and there we go that's our regular expression that's what I want to, to match so I'm going to get that from the doc comment and I want to send that to an array I'll just call that content next I would like to get rid of anything which is not necessary because there's going to be matches that are not necessary so I'm going to start by the same content and also just get everything down to the same uh, level uh, because there's going to be array issues and everything like that if I don't so I'm going to use the ternary operator to get a set content and since I named the item content, it's content as well. So content and content. So if this is set, what I want to return is content content, the string that is contained here. Otherwise, just an empty string. Once that's done, I want to make sure that I get everything in an array format. So if I have multiple filters, uh, separated by say a comma or anything like that I want to basically split it using the explode function so I want to explode uh, based on the comma what's inside content and further further to that I would want to also replace um, any space uh, by no space so str replace like su as such so I want to search for a space and replace it by no space uh, for the content great now I should return the content so what I'm returning here, this is an array. An array with no name, a sequential array that contains all of the filters that should be run. So this is getting returned here as the class and method filters. And this is going to be assembled in a single array called filters. Now we need to actually run the filters. So to run the filters, I'm going to Okay, I'm just going to write uh, private static function run filters. Filters. Okay, I just want to run these in a while loop and make sure that if there is something wrong, I return it. Otherwise, if there is nothing to return, I'll just return false. So redirect is equal to false by default at the, is set at the beginning and I'm going to get the size of my array max is equal to count of filters then I am going to set an index as zero and start while um, I want to start with uh, not redirect and i is smaller than max so i'm going to go through the collection unless i find something which tells me to redirect so there's a check inside if method exists uh, now this method is going to be in app this and the method name is going to be filters with the index i so if this does exist then i want to proceed to making it run 
So the way to make it run would be to state that redirect is equal to the result of self colon colon and let's just get this filters out. So running this directly would not work because there's no such property as filters as part of self. So what we do is we put some brackets, some squiggly brackets around it to change the scope and just output the string. The string is then going to be run as a function as long as I put these uh, parentheses. Great. So in the event that the method does not ex exist, I would like to just throw an exception so that the developer knows that uh, the function does not exist. Throw a new exception. And this exception should be something like uh, mm, no policy named. And then I'll just put filters i inside semicolon that's good now i return the redirect variable great so my redirect filters takes a class a method makes a reflection class then gets the doc comments get the gets the filters from the annotations puts them together runs the filters and gets the redirect if any and then returns that in my main routing method the constructor for app what happens is that if we do get the redirect url from the redirect filters by uh, running them then we are going to send the headers to redirect and return so that we don't call the actual method in that class okay now we have login filter and an admin filter let's see if we do have login filter login filter is not there yet so let's extract the code from index and reproduce that in a way that's acceptable in our app class this is what the login filter should look like kind of so we are going to have the uh, private static function login filter and we're going to paste that inside okay so if the session user ID is null, then what I want to do is return only the URL to log in. So this is where we were redirecting previously. So that string, which is the URL. Else, I'll just return false saying that there is no place to return to. There is no redirect to be done. Great. I am not going to write the admin filter so that we get to see the exception happening when we try this application. So I'm going to delete the quick and dirty code we pasted in last time and verify that our doc comments work as annotations say in asp.net okay so again this is left in so that we get to see the exception let's see what happens so going back to the login there's no problem let's go to the home controller i should see an exception oh no exception okay great and the reason I'm not seeing this exception is because it is happening only on the method. If I remove the login filter here, the login filter already returned that there's a problem. Uh, so the admin filter never got to run, so the exception never happened. If, however, I do log in, I should see this exception happening. Oops we get an infinite loop 
and this infinite loop is because I forgot to do something crucial in all while loops. And you've guessed it, I++. plus plus. So let's avoid infinite loops. Going back to localhost. We get to see that there's no policy named admin filter. Okay, so there you go. That's the exception that I threw. As a developer, this is really helpful. So I get to see, oh no, I did something wrong here. Let's remove this annotation. Save this and go back to localhost. Great. If I log out, try to go to the home controller again, I get denied access. If I log in, I go back and everything works. Perfect. So let's try what happens if I only apply the access filter to say this method, the index method. Same thing, if I log out, log back in, perfect, everything works out. If I log out, I try to go to the home index, it works out. Let's try going to the home details and provide a number. Let's imagine four exists. All right, I still get denied. Ah, I'm not getting denied anymore because I wrote the right name for the method. When I wrote details, I was sent back to the index, which in turn was filtered, so I got sent back. Now. Here, this, miss, this error is because the ID 4 for the item does not exist. And that's fine. So if I go back to the login controller, I log in and say, put, put in my password. I can look at identifier 8 does exist. So if, for instance, if I go to detail 8, that exists. I'll copy that link. Go back log out, go back to details eight, and I get to see the details. Now this is because I've not applied my policy where everywhere where it should be. So if I apply it now to the class, I get sent back to the login page. Great. So I've shown you a mechanism through doc comments to apply annotations to classes and methods of a controller class such that the routing can interrupt the access through redirect filters in the app constructor. And this is done by adding filter methods to our app class that are then run by redirect uh, filter, get filter from annotation, run filters uh, in this um, nice example. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and have a good day.